Hey everyone, Lee Taft here with a speed tip from my garage. Welcome. I want to share with you um, some thoughts on rolling, foam rolling, using sticks, uh, using balls and stuff like that to take care of tissues. This is and the reason I'm bringing it up is because I'm getting this question quite a bit. And what are my thoughts on it? Well. Like our industry, what's very typical of our profession is we jump on and off bandwagons as fast as anyone. Okay, we, we hear something, somebody writes an article that we respect, and next thing you know, we change our whole methodology, even though what we've been doing has been working, it's been safe, and we've been getting good results. So, anyway, let me just share my thoughts. Does foam rolling or using a stick, like I have my TheraBand stick here, does that affect change? Okay, does it affect change physically? Like, am I actually changing the muscle? I don't know that. I don't think we are. A lot smarter people than me can answer that better, but I personally don't think we're changing it. But I think what we're doing is we're changing the sensory input from the nervous system. So we're, like, if I'm really sore on this spot, and I work on it enough, and it's creating you know, some tension in there, and I'm maybe getting some blood flow, and maybe making the fascia and the tissue a little bit more pliable. Um, I'm going to get some kind of result, even if it's just my perception of it. it. It feels better now because it was really sore before, and I worked on it a little bit, and now it doesn't hurt as much. Okay, maybe I didn't change the tissue that much, but maybe what I did is I let the nervous system allow me to have a little bit more room, a little bit more space to move within those tissues. Um, and it might have just been because the nervous system is relaxing me a little bit. Okay, I don't know, that, but that's, all I can tell you is I've been foam rolling since it came out, and I do it every day. I worked out this morning, I foam roll for a good eight to ten minutes because I'm older and I have to, and I've heard a lot uh, from doing all this human agility. I get stiff, so I have to do it, okay? Um, and I always feel better, okay, and I do it throughout the day. So. For me, when I'm dealing with speed, what I want my athletes to do is I definitely want to get the front, the quads. I want to get their hamstrings. I want to definitely get quad, and I want to get even through the Achilles tendon. Am I making change on that huge thing? No. But again, I'm at, making the nervous system say, okay, I'm not going to let that feel as tight or as painful, so I'm going to give you a good feeling for the next hour or so and maybe for the next five minutes, but at least they're able to get into something. But I want to increase some, some tissue quality movement, but I want to get some joint range of motion as well. And so we do other things like joint range of motion things. Um, and then we obviously will attack the core, we'll attack the low back, we'll attack the hips, okay? And we just try to make the athletes feel better. And they usually do, because my rule now is I put the foam rollers out and I say, do what you need to do, okay? Some of them don't even take the foam roll, they go right to the stick, okay? And they like this, this new one that I have, TheraBand stick, it's, and I like it too. It's just very comfortable and it works really well. So sometimes they, sometimes they just use this, sometimes they come in and they just use like a lacrosse ball and they go after that. If they don't want to do it, they don't do it because we do so many other warm-ups and activation and mobility things, we're fine. But regarding this, does it work based on increasing the tissue length right then and there? I don't know that. You need to ask smarter people that deal a little bit more with, uh, you know, maybe in the therapy world. But in my mind, it works really well for me. I always feel better, I feel safer, and I feel less potential for injury when I do it. So that's why I have my athletes do it, and it seems to work really, really well. So give it a shot, see how that goes for you, and then next time we'll be back with another actual movement speed tip, and I think this was important to share. Be back again with another speed tip from my garage.